Hi everyone, so let's continue our journey and in the couple of videos we are going to talk about NSCS unit testing with the Type RM, SQLize, Mongoose, Prisma and then we will start our journey with the end-to-end -end testing. So in the NSCS you can write end-to-end -end testing with the super test or Pactum and we are going to build test suit, we are going to run the end-to-end -end test tests on CI-CD pipeline, we are, we are going to run the coverage and we are going to cover all the scenarios of end-to-end -end testing. So let's stay tuned. So in this video, we are going to talk about the testing of NestJS uh, uh, services which are interact with the type ORM repositories. We are already doing it for the Mongoose, for Prisma and for SQLize. In this video, we are focusing on NestJS type ORM and NestJS type ORM is giving a particular method get repository token. With the help of get repository token, we can actually mock the repository interface and can provide our own interface. Like we already have a get model token in the SQLize. Similarly, get repository token is in a type ORM. So we are just checking uh, our application. This is a big application which I have created, which has authentication and uh, simple entities. It has a product entity and a user entity. I'm just testing if it really works. And then I will also show you it has simple authentication endpoint and a simple login register. And this is our main module where what we are doing is db module dot four root. I have two entity user entity and a product entity. Okay, and I have two module auth module and product module. Auth module is using auth guard local strategy and JWT strategy. So whenever user logs in, we are returning a authentication token JWT token, which he needs to pass to the protected APIs. So this is how we are using database module. We already have a package created for type ORM module. So here we are doing a dynamic initialization of type ORM, DB uh, type ORM module dot four root async, and we are getting the connection options. So here you can see get connection options, and I'm returning the entity is synchronized false logging true, and I'm passing the URL, which is the database URL, and that database URL is coming from the ENV. So this is my root module where I'm initializing the type ORM module. So these are the two modules we have product module and auth module. Auth module has a lots of other stuff like auth guard, JWT strategy, and we are using NestJS, JWT, NestJS passport, all these modules which are required for uh, storing the password in an encrypted way. And then once you do the login, compare the password and return the JWT token. So it's all a simple authentication APIs. Now what we are going to do, we are going to run the test cases for the product service. So product service is accessing the product repository. This is just a simple code of how we are doing a simple authentication using user service and auth controller like login and register. That is just to give you a feeling like what this service really contains. This service is providing a basic authentication based on user a name, email and a password. And these are the API endpoints you can see. And uh, I have auth login, auth register. Once user is logged in, you will get a token. So that token you need to authorize and then you can create a product. So it's a bare bone structure uh, where I have added authentication and a user APIs. So here you can see it's unauthorized because you we haven't, we are not logged in. So first we will try to log in. And here, what, whatever the demos I'm showing, I'm using synchronize true for the type ORM module or SQLize module. So what happens is when you restart the server, it actually checks in the database, do we have those entities? If not, it will create those entities for us. So it's like type ORM migration getting triggered automatically, SQLize migrations getting triggered automatically. In production, we don't do these things. We write real migrations. Here you can see. So here is a simple example of mocking like auth service. Auth service depends on uh, this you, auth, auth controller depends on auth service and it has lots of methods. If you want to write a mock version of those, then you can write it. Otherwise, just clearly simply pass the empty object. And here, because my focus here is to test the service. 
so this is the product controller inside this controller we are passing uh, the dependency injection right and here it is a service inside service what we are doing these are different different methods create query builder these are type ORM methods and this is my simple controller so in this controller what we are doing is we are dependency injection of product service and this is a simple product controller spec and here in the spec you can see we are injecting the providers like product service if there is user service as a dependency on product service just mock it jwt guard like we have a auth guard added on the routes so we are doing mock implementation of it and just saying true that is just a product controller uh, because product controller depends on product service which is using product repository and here we have defined the basic uh, find update delete uh, save all these basic basic methods now our uh, so this is the mock service mock service has the mock methods and here you can see so there are two ways of doing it either you can just use a override provider and set value that is the one way and till now we have we are doing something like provide product service use value mock product service but this is another way line 81 and line 82 you can also override the service using override provider so it is same as inside a providers array you can just say provide product service and use value product mock service okay now what we are doing is we are overriding the implementation you can also write it something like this here we can just remove the override provider and uh, use value because same thing can be replaced with the provide and use value and inside a mock product service we are defining all the methods of service and then we are just checking we are getting the reference instance of product service user service and then we are just doing a spy on and checking if the values are coming accordingly or not so that unit that is a unit testing now what we need to do we need to mock the repository mock the repository using get repository token because you are going to test a service service depends on some entity repository so how to mock a repository there is a method provided by type orm is a get repository token and we will be using get repository token that will mock the entity you are trying to access okay so same thing we are doing here you can see this is a product service product service actually has a dependency injection of a product repository so what i'm doing is get repository token and we are passing product entity and i'm overriding the definition using mock product repository mock product repository has all the methods which are nothing but okay get put post delete create product save all the methods here we are just checking uh, we are just doing a spy on product service dot create product and we are checking that whatever the mock we have defined we are getting or not because in the mock product service we are using the same object and payload mock product repository you can see create product is returning us a simple mock version of product then save so now we need this, these are the mock uh, repository now you call the actual method and assert that whatever you have defined as the outcome of create product are you getting that or not so that is a just a test assertions we are adding so here we can also get the coverage there is a simple method is just ci and pass the argument like true collect coverage maximum workers and default open open handlers what will happen is when you are running npm run test it will also collect the coverage of all the test files which you have created so i mean earlier it used to be very complex when we used to so this is how we are collecting the coverage just is like a test runner which is really very popular and it provides you everything how to collect the coverage how to mock the implementation everything is there all the utility methods so you don't need to use 10 different libraries like chai mocha should uh, istanbul nyc earlier we used to be using lots of library for mocking for collecting coverage for testing and for e2e testing but now it is all simplified with the nest jest